ο κύριος πρόεδρος. Καλημέρα σας. Αρχίζει η συνεδρίαση. Το πρώτο σημείο στην ημερήσια διάταξη είναι η δήλωση της Επιτροπής σχετικά με την προστασία των υπερασπιστών των δασών και του περιβάλλοντος στην Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση. Θα ήθελα να υπενθυμίσω και πάλι ότι υπάρχει η δυνατότητα να υποβάλλεται αίτημα για να δοθεί ο λόγος με τη διαδικασία του Catch the Eye και με τη διαδικασία της ερώτησης για τη γαλάζια κάρτα, χρησιμοποιώντας τόσο τη συνήθη διαδικασία όσο και το ηλεκτρονικό σύστημα, οι σχετικές οδηγίες είναι διαθέσιμες στην είσοδο του ημικυκλίου. Εξ ονόματος της Επιτροπής, το λόγο έχει ο Επίτροπος κ. Μίμητσα. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Very good morning, honorable members. The Commission is strongly committed to protecting and restoring existing forests, both within the European Union and worldwide. To this end, a comprehensive legislative framework exists at the EU level. In particular, many forests are protected under the Birds and Habitats Directives. These directives require that some forest habitats be maintained or restored at favorable conservation status. Currently, 23% of the European Union's forest area is part of the Natura 2000 network of uh, protected sites. In addition, species protection rules under both the Birds and Habitats directives apply within the whole EU territory. Environmental defenders represent natural and indispensable uh, allies in the promotion of environmental rights. Another tool is the Directive on Environmental Crime in the European Union. The Commission is currently evaluating how the Directive has contributed to the fight against environmental crime. The Commission is currently carrying out a wide public consultation, open until January 2020, and will assess the need to review this legislation or improve its implementation. Finally, the timber regulation aims to prevent trade in illegally harvested timber and timber products. Environmental crime is also considered a threat to European security and to the well-being of citizens. It has therefore been included in, in the EU policy cycle against serious and organized crime that covers the period from 2018 to 2021. The European Union policy cycle's primary objective is to increase cooperation amongst law enforcement services and EU agencies to disrupt organized crime groups through operational actions. It is important to recall that member states are responsible for implementing the relevant rules, as well as for taking appropriate enforcement measures, including sanctions and penalties. The Commission monitors the implementation of these rules and takes action when needed. The European Union is also providing financial means for the protection, restoration and sustainable management of forests in line with the EU forest strategy. The European Union's rural development funds under the Common Agriculture Policy are the main source of funding for forests, amounting to 8.2 billion euros of public expenditure in the current MMF, MFF period 2014-2020. Last but not least, the recent communication on stepping up EU action to protect and restore the world's forests shows 
that the European Union is increasing its efforts to step up global action against biodiversity loss. This is currently discussed in Council and European Parliament. In this context, I have to highlight again the important role of the timber regulation, which applies to both timber logged in third countries and imported into the European Union and to domestic timber logged in the European Union. The Commission has been alerted on reported cases of continued illegal logging in some member states, including in primary forests, and is carefully assessing the situation. On the specific case of Romania, the Commission is working with the authorities to assess the situation. It is also in the process of analysing Copernicus satellite imagery of logging activities in Natura 2000 protected areas. Thank you.